So every year, Kasha's Bakery in South Philadelphia cooks up its own Thanksgiving tradition. Yeah, drop your turkey off and let them cook it for you in their big ovens. Iowa News reporter Pat Gown is live at Kasha's where people are already dropping off their turkeys. Hi, Pat. Joan Rahel, it's a South Philly tradition unlike any other. It is Kasha's Bakery on Thanksgiving morning where the line is out the door. People are waiting to get their turkeys in. As you can see, the line has been formed since about... 3.30, maybe 4 a.m., people waiting to have their turkeys cooked. We've got turkeys of all sizes, too. As you see, they line them up, tag them. Then my man Joe over here puts them in the corner to get them ready. So these are the heavier turkeys. Is that right, Joe? These are the heavy ones? Heavier turkeys over here. Heavier turkeys over here because they need to go closest to the hot flame, obviously. The lighter ones are back here. But we don't discriminate turkeys. I will say this, though. Danielle Kosh is here. Pink hair don't care this year? Pink hair don't care. You're looking good. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. Beauty school dropout. It's from Greece, right? <laughs> yeah. You having fun this morning? I always have fun. This is my favorite day of the year. I get to spend time with my father and my baby brother. Oh, how <laughs> sweet. So how long have you guys been doing this as a family? Uh, my grand, my great-grandfather started this back in the mid-50s when he opened the bakery just to make a little bit of extra money around the holidays. Typically, a South Philadelphia row home only has one oven, one small oven, uh, so why not bring it here? We'll cook it for you in our brick oven, and you have plenty of room in your oven for all your other Thanksgiving goodies. So I'm sure it didn't start with a line out the door. It started off with just a couple of people showing up, throwing the turkey, and that's it? It started with 10 turkeys, and as you can see, we now use metal and mark the tags with marker because the first year they used crayon. Not a good move. And when they went in the oven, they all melted, so thankfully it was only 10 turkeys back then, and they were able to decide who belonged to who. <laughs> How cool is it to see the same people come back each and every year? It's it's really special and it, it really makes uh, makes you understand the power of tradition, family tradition here in South Philly. That's one thing that's very important to us and, and it really shows how different your turkey uh, comes and tastes when you bring it here. The turkey cooks from the inside out sure. slowly and it makes the turkey a lot more juicy on the inside. Danielle, the pink hair looks great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Happy Danielle Thanksgiving. Kasha, Happy Thanksgiving to you guys as well. Joe and Rahel, it's nice and warm in here and they're ready. They're ready to rock. All the turkeys are getting in in a couple of minutes. Must There's smell the brick great. Oven. I have no doubt on the smell. Bustling Kasha's. All right, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs>